This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got two guests in the studio, two newcomers to FYI. Welcome. I've got Barbara Osborne Monahan and Claire Jacobs. You're both with the Rideau Lake Studio Tour that's happening Canada Day weekend, but you're getting organized and ready to go already. So thank you very much for joining us today. You're both artists. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. uh, Barbara, we'll start with you. What kind of art do you do? I do fused glass um, in a variety of ways. So um, wearable art. Um, fused glass, which is a really neat um, medium because you can do things like screen printing on glass, which is a really interesting technique. I also do watercolors and acrylics, and I teach art as well as uh, jewelry classes, so keeping busy with that and my job as an educational assistant with the school board. Wow, wow. And what about you, Claire? I am a two-dimensional painter, so painting on a flat surface. I paint in oils and in watercolor, and I also play with um, acrylic flow art. And you've got an example here. Maybe we can show uh, everybody that's an example sure, that you do. Sure, sure. I'll be happy to do that. So that is this, so. This is uh, acrylic flow um, done with acrylics and a bit of a formula in little different squeeze bottles. And there's um, embellishments just with stone and gold leaf. And then there's a covering that goes on it with resin, probably two or three coats to get it all nice and even. All right, and so I, I'm thinking the there's resin. a lot of chemistry going on there. You don't know what your final product's really going to be like because of the way it flows. Is that That's right. correct? You have absolutely no idea exactly what's going to happen. You have a sense of the different weight of the different colors and so what's going to flow down and what's going to kind of flow float up on top um, that's about it okay. the rest of it you play with and um, it's great fun they it doesn't matter who's doing it they're always beautiful that's always really creative really in well. the moment too let's say yeah yeah, yeah. it is and in the moment pre-pandemic i was teaching this and um, i called it sunday afternoon delight and everyone loved uh, to come to this class and just leave everything behind and go home with a masterpiece um, and they didn't have to know how to draw or um, do that kind of thing. So everybody enjoys doing this. It, it's a, a lot of fun. And you both have studios, galleries type thing in your own homes. Right. That's mm -hmm. right. We That's do. right. And we so do. they're open as appointment sort of thing or if people want to come and see you. Or by chance. Or by chance. Sure. Okay. Sure. And you're both located in Portland? No. You're, Claire is in Portland. Yeah. I'm in Elgin. I have a one-room schoolhouse that's been renovated. Wow. So a portion of the schoolhouse is actually my art studio. And then mm -hmm. the glass studio is in the garage because of all the broken glass. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that in itself, the, the architecture, that's art. It's amazing. Oh it's a goodness. wonderful place to live wow. and to wow. work. So yeah. when did you start doing that? I've uh, been in Elgin for eight years now. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> always something to do, isn't there? <laughs> always, for sure. Now you brought for some sure. other examples of what you do here too, Claire. I did. Um, maybe we can come back another time to talk to you as we get closer to this. Oh, the, absolutely, the tour we can do that, yes. And we can collect a little bit of the work from some of the other artists. Okay. There are um, 19 artists on this particular tour with an incredible variety of works and styles and media and it would be great to be able to give people a sneak peek at what they would get to see okay. um, coming to so the tour. So we're talking about the Rideau Lake Studio Tour too, so it, it is a tour. You're going around to all your galleries? Yes. yes. It's an experience. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So let, let's talk about, is it a, a day long? It's a weekend. Two days, July it, 1st and 2nd? It is. Mm -hmm. um, from 10 in the morning to 5 in the evening. And the way that the tour works, it's geographically situated, I'll say along Highway 15, between Portland and Elgin. Um, that may not mean a whole lot to a lot of people, but we have maps. Um, so between those two areas, and it's spread out this way so that there are um, studios in Chafee's Lock. There are studios at Davis Lock. There are, there are Portland, um, Elgin. Uh, so they're spread uh, all over the place throughout Rideau Lakes. And, and there isn't anything more beautiful anywhere than 
uh, going through Rideau Lakes, um, all along the Rideau Canal and the different things that you can um, see. Uh, being uh, Canada Day weekend, way. people are going to be so festive and everything too. There's yes, going to be a lot of decorations yes. up. We have such a beautiful For countryside sure. to be able to do it. 19 artists. You'd have to do this in two days. It you does be able need to, to be do two it. days. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, you so just imagine the stay and play that we're providing for the community as well. And I'm really passionate about that. So they're going to be stopping mm -hmm. into coffee shops and eating at restaurants, maybe staying at a B&B &B locally. Mm -hmm. So it's a great way for us to celebrate Canada and our community with for our sure. talent and, um, and provide some fun and experiences for everybody. So what kind of artists are going to be involved in, in the two days? Oh my goodness. So you'll have two dimensional artists that are painters. Mm -hmm. We'll have fabulous artists like Barbara here who do the fused glass um, and other things. <laughs> um, we have a fellow by the name of Doug McDonald who um, creates molds and um, then pours I guess with a cement, I'm sorry, Doug, if you're listening to this. <laughs> um, he's a brilliant, brilliant artist, and he creates these wonderful uh, creation sculptures um, of gargoyles and grotesques and... and Gothics. Uh, and Gothics. Yeah, it's yeah. And so affordable, and, and his, his work is in great demand. And he's um, Phillipsville. Uh, which would be easy to see on the map, all very close, all very doable in those uh, two days. Um, we have potters. We have uh, more than one who do completely different work, and they all create functional pieces. Yes. <laughs> um, as well as very creative, interesting pieces. Check um, out our website too. That's a great way to see these for yourself. Yeah. See all the artists, yeah. To yeah. get a sneak peek. And yeah. I love tours like this when they're local because it gives people uh, the idea of the local ta talent we have. You don't have to go to the city. You don't have to go to no. you know metropolitan Toronto to find this sort of stuff. We have it right here at home. Exactly. Sure Literally, uh, what, 19, how, how many kilometers are you away in Portland? 20 <laughs> kilometers away to, to Elgin. I mean, it's so local. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes, that's it's, right. It's quite local. Um, uh, Barbara, you mentioned our um, website. Yes. So this year is our 25th anniversary of this studio tour. So some of us, not Barbara and I, but some of us have been members of this tour for the last 25 years. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. So we've done a, a little bit of a revamp, I guess. We've created a new logo this year. We have um, a whole new website uh, that we've put together. So there's some happy and exciting things for people to see. Because it's our 25th anniversary, we also are going to be offering um, um, a chance to win a $250 gift voucher. Um, that they can spend at any one of the studios. There are two different ways that they can do that. They can come onto our website and we'll tell you what that is. Um, and subscribe so that they can also be on the mailing list. And, uh, or there are going to be ballots at all of the different studios along the way that they can fill in. And then the person that wins will be able to apply that $250 to something that they saw that they really liked on the tour from any of the 19 artists. That's wonderful. That's yeah. wonderful. And I mean, we're just coming out of COVID. I mean, we've been three years of, you know, people not yeah. being able to do events. Uh, but what a great way to, to, you know, come out of the pandemic. People are getting comfortable now, too. Last mm -hmm. year, things were opening up and things were opening up, but people still weren't as comfortable getting out. This year, I think it's different. I think people are more comfortable now. People yeah. are getting out. But what a great way. You're changing the logo and moving on. Let's start. Start yeah. brand new after this pandemic. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, I've been doing this for a few years now and you meet people everywhere who have said to us, when is the tour coming back? When is the tour coming back? This is something we love to do um, and, and we're anxious to do it. 
We did do it last year for the first time mm -hmm. in, in a few years. Um, but it was kind of what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. They, it was different. The vibe was different. The feeling was a little bit different when they came in. People were still, I think, a little bit more cautious mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. than they were. Um, I think now people are feeling a little more comfortable, Absolutely. a little safer. We are super stoked about about this this year's uh, tour. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. So 19 artists, uh, and uh, how, how do your artists get involved with this tour? Oh my goodness. Barb, you're new. So yes. This is my <laughs> first how did year. How did you yes. find out about this? Um, I've been going to the tours forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My husband grew up here in, in uh, this region. We have a cottage on Indian Lake. Um, and I had always dreamed that someday I could be included. It was my goal. And uh, I applied more than once. It is uh, quite a process. You have to be juried in. So I provided some of my work. And um, they, they met as they had a meeting. And uh, I was petitioned forward and um, they enjoyed my pieces enough mm -hmm. that I have qualified to be a member now. I, I, I love the, the fact that you're both teaching it as well. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're passionate yeah. enough about your art and, and, and your skills that you want to teach it. So, I mean, when you, you see, you know, either a child, an adult, whoever, get it, you know, and they have that passion and they want to move on to it. It must be awesome just to, to see that in their eyes and they want to learn. It's a joy. It is. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. really is. Mm -hmm. It yeah. really, really is, for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. An incredible feeling. Um, when I do the acrylic pour classes on Sunday afternoons, there could be an 82-year-old lady standing at this table and a 9-year-old child standing beside this person um, at the same table. The interaction between all of the different ages is is just incredible yeah it's amazing that you share your talents mm -hmm. and i mean you share your share your talents by teaching but you're to your you're a tour too you're mm -hmm. sharing your talents with uh, everybody and it's open do people have to register how do people get involved with the tour do they just pick up a pamphlet and follow a map how do they do that that website it. too yes i think our website has the map on it if it doesn't it will mm -hmm. and basically mm -hmm. it's free for anyone to participate um, but keep an eye on the website because as we get closer, we're going to have little blurbs, like little teasers, little things that, um, mm -hmm. that will keep you interested and, and ready. Start planning your trip now. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. More and more, um, our, now that our brochures are, are um, done and ready, they're going to be showing up a little bit of everywhere. Can you hold up a copy to so we can see? All right. I can do that. Oh, there thank you. Go. Go. Yep. yep. There we go. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. So two of our artists, um, John Shea is one of them, who does incredible stone architecture, uh, heritage stone architecture, watercolors. He's brilliant. Um, and Doug McDonald, the fellow that I talked about who does the sculptures. Both of these fellows go to attend the um, Signatures Spring Art show in Ottawa at the EY Centre and that happens middle of April. We always make sure that our brochures are ready for uh, John and Doug to take to them so the brochures are there and available and are distributed to um, all of the people who, who come out there. You could um, pick one up almost anywhere throughout Rideau Lakes soon and um, you can always download a copy of the brochure off of our uh, website. I really like how you mentioned earlier too, like people are gonna have to stop at our local cafes and restaurants, and mm -hmm. so everybody gets involved, everybody wins. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. The, um, it's, it's Canada Day, and it's a big, beautiful, bright, sunny day, and you are at Chafee's Locks, and um, you've gone around to three or four of the studio tours that are there. You can come back to Chafee's Locks and walk up to the Opinicon and get mm -hmm. one of those amazing ice cream yeah, cones. Yeah, I'm making my mouth water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can go, uh, come into Portland, and on the Big Rito, there's a wonderful little 
uh, restaurant called The Galley with an outdoor porch overlooking the Big Rito and the most incredible view. So you can take that in as you're going through the tour as well. So lots to do. All of our artists have, um, most of our artists have <laughs> um, a way to take direct uh, payments mm -hmm. um, or they can do e-transfers. So they will accept debit cards mm -hmm. and credit cards and um, can do e-transfers. Along the way also, there's washroom facilities mm -hmm. as you mm -hmm. go. Um, something else, but it's gone. It'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe you can mention this website we're talking about. Uh, oh, how to get yes. And it's so very easy. It's um, Rito Lakes Studio Tour .ca. All right. And all of the letters of, the, uh, of it. So there's two S's in there, Lakes Studio. So Rito Lake Studio Tour .ca. Um, and it's wonderful. It just looks beautiful. Again, one of our new members, Kim, Kim, forgive me if I don't say this exactly right, but it is a tough one. It's Kim Lulashnik, who has a beautiful, beautiful home in, new home in Newborough called the Stone Mansion, I believe. And um, Kim also has a um, creative workshops in all different kinds of mediums and, and different things that, that she is starting to put on. So Kim is the one that has created our new website for this year, and it's absolutely beautiful. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Fantastic. Wow. Well, is there anything you'd like to say before we wrap up? I'm just having a quick look. I want to make you sure did some homework. <laughs> that, that um, this is a comfort <clears throat> thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you get oh, a little Oh, look at me with a notebook too. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, well, we have to have you this come back because good. this isn't until July 1st and 2nd uh, Canada Day weekend. So right. maybe each time you can bring somebody's different artwork in with you and we, we can just love talk to about that Fantastic. and get the word out for you. Yeah, well, that's great. All Thank right. you so much for having us here this morning and yes. to have the opportunity to um, talk to the community about what's coming up for the tour. Well, I appreciate you coming in here. So we've got Barbara Thanks. Osborne Monahan and Claire Jacobs. Thank you very much for joining us Thank with you. the Rito Lake Studio Tour happening Canada Day weekend this year. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.